Welcome to NTN Nightly, I am Janelle Norville. This is a special edition as we provide comprehensive coverage of government's preparations ahead of Tropical Cyclone Dorian. St. Lucia is under a national shutdown that began at 6 p.m. as the island braces for the impact of the fourth storm of the 2019 Atlantic hurricane season. Tropical Storm Dorian is developing toward hurricane status, which is expected by Tuesday, 27th August. Dorian is moving towards west-northwest. On the forecast track, the center of Dorian is expected to pass near St. Lucia late Monday night and move into the eastern Caribbean Sea by Tuesday. Dorian is expected to produce total rain accumulations of 3 to 8 inches, with possible isolated maximum amounts of 10 inches. Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chastney on Monday chaired a pre-strike meeting of the National Emergency Management Advisory Council, NEMAC. He urged residents and motorists in areas prone to flooding and landslides to take all necessary precautions. We are <laughs> predicting at this point that the hurricane is going to pass south of St. Lucia, very narrow channel. That means that it can move either north of that position or south of that position. We're anticipating at this point that it could be a hurricane, category one hurricane, but given that hurricane is not due to hit here until two o'clock in the morning, there are a lot of things that can transpire. So it is important that we take this extremely seriously. Six to 10 inches, is a lot of rain and so therefore everybody should be taking the necessary precautions with winds predicted to reach 74 miles per hour taking it to category one status dorian is expected to make landfall here about 2 a.m tuesday so this is the ocean and the temperatures so we are in a warm area which is ideal for the system to develop okay and this is an image of um, moisture. So this Dorian, look at it there, and the center of it shows, um, depicts high moisture content. Depicts the um, hurricane, I'm sorry, tropical storm. Okay. And like the uh, Prime Minister said, we, are, we will be on the northern end of it. So the strong winds would be normally in the northeast quadrant. So we should be expecting, in some areas, we would be expecting hurricane force winds. Due to the impending impact of the weather system, Dorian, the Commissioner of Police wishes to inform all police officers to remain on standby in the event of leave cancellation. In the event of damaged infrastructure resulting in the breakdown of communication systems, all police officers are required to report to the nearest police station without further correspondence indicating cancellation of leave. If communication systems remain functional, officers are asked to await further instruction from the Office of the Commissioner of Police. All officers attached to the Police Marine Unit and Special Services Unit are hereby informed of the cancellation of leave for these units with immediate effect. The Royal St. Lucia Police Force has advised the general public that due to the national shutdown from 6 p.m., no one via foot or other means is to be seen outdoors. Anyone violating this, with the exception of emergency personnel, shall be detained. Once again, everyone is to remain in their homes until the official all clear notice is given by NEMO. I want to reiterate, there is no such thing as a partial all clear. So the only entity that is authorized to give an all clear is NEMO. So the country will be on a shutdown as of 6 p.m. until NEMO gives the official notice that an all clear has been established. I also want to point the citizens that if you would like, there's an app called CAP.CAP. .CAP. If you go to it, it's a free app, and that that app is the official entity of NEMO, and will be providing regular updates as to the status of um, the hurricane and any other relevant information that NEMO has deemed necessary to distribute to the, uh, to the citizens. But in today's age, where there are multitude of out outlets, 
that are confessing to give official information. I want to reiterate, the only agency that's authorized to speak on behalf of the government of St. Lucia is NEMO. And if you are a social media person and you want to be able to get your information on your phone, CAP.CAP CAP would be that position. The Department of Infrastructure, Ports and Energy is requesting all heavy equipment owners and operators to have their equipment on standby as per established protocol in order to provide support in the immediate aftermath of the passage of Tropical Storm Dorian, which is forecast to strengthen with hurricane conditions over the island. The Ministry has assured that in the event that St. Lucia is severely impacted, its engineers and technical experts will work closely with all state agencies and stakeholders to get St. Lucia back up and running at soonest. Minister Honorable Stevenson King says the Ministry has been preparing for the hurricane season. Our work started in June of this year and it started first with what we consider to be the pre-hurricane program which entails the clearance of drains in communities, in towns and villages in the city, working very closely with the various local authorities in St. Lucia. This is the third year we have undertaken such a program and it has worked pretty well in the past few years. In July we commenced the hurricane desilting program and this year, like last year, we have seen an increase of 100% in the allocation and expenditure in the silting works throughout the country of all of our major drains, major streams, parish drains, and uh, other waterways throughout the country. We are virtually complete with the program, with some new requests coming in from parliamentarians who are of the opinion that some further emphasis should be given on drains which we have not traditionally serviced historically. All in all, the Ministry of Infrastructure is ready. We have had our internal meetings uh, as early as June of this year at the department, preparing, preparing for floods, uh, preparing for strengthening of infrastructure, bridges, etc. Assessments of our road infrastructure has been undertaken through the road maintenance management system and the asset management system. So we have a fair understanding of the strength of our infrastructure uh, and what to anticipate. We do know that with heavy rains, uh, the carriageways are usually interfered with and that is mainly out of fatigue of the infrastructure and therefore we anticipate that will happen and so you'll see the um, emergence of potholes as the rains come down. But in anticipation, we are ready for a quick response once the passage of the storm or the hurricane takes place here in St. Lucia. So all in all, we are ready and uh, hoping for the best. You're watching a special edition of NTN Nightly at St. Lucia Braces for Dorian. Si ou jouen nan bil ki ho, gade si siten ou ka koule. Se pa tout lè ou ka ywe, kote siten la ka koule. Avan ou kouye ou asko, examine siten la pa kou. E kouye ni mi woa ki asou mita. Pa seve dloa pou 3 minit pou yon neditan. Deviwe e kouye ni mi woa ki asou mita. Si ni mi woa chanje siten la ka koule. Kouye an ploma pou oje problem la vitman. Sa se an komisyon hod ou asko. Welcome back. The island's healthcare system comes under pressure daily, but at times of disaster, health services become more critical. A fact not lost on the government of St. Lucia. Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chastney on Monday highlighted the transformation that wellness centers or health centers have undergone over the past three years. Contingency measures are also in place for St. Jude's Hospital and Victoria Hospital. They have their own generators, they have their solar panels, um, and they also have um, a lot of new equipment that they didn't have before so that in eventuality that a community is locked off that there is from a health perspective the capacity to be able to deal with them. Uh, certainly we know that we have two very weak plants um, that is in the stadium as well as the Victoria Hospital 
and um, we have been working with the Ministry of Health and also the St. Jude's Board. Um, I'm very grateful for the fact that we went ahead and removed all of the debris above the roofs, which would have been projectiles during a hurricane. We've spent a significant amount of money in strengthening the windows and the areas of potential flooding at, those, um, at, at, at the uh, stadium. We also have a contingency plan in place that if there in fact is any major problems at the, um, at the hospital um, that we would be moving to another location and all preparations are being done for that. In the case of Victoria, again, we know that's an old plant um, and while we've been moving to OKEU, it would be very easy um, to ignore what is going on at Victoria. And I think that we're strengthening some roofs as we speak because of the maternity wing, if I'm not mistaken, um, was damaged and was weakened. So I want to assure the public that um, our health care centers are being looked at in a significant way to make sure um, that we can uh, weather through this, this, this storm. Special consideration must be made to protect our wildlife after the passage of a hurricane or tropical storm if they become displaced. So says Chief Forestry Officer attached to the Department of Forestry of the Ministry of Agriculture in an attempt to bring about an increased awareness of the vulnerability and possible danger our protected species may encounter after a natural disaster. September is notorious for increased turbulent Atlantic activity, that is hurricanes and tropical storms, and so the Chief Forestry Officer Alfred Prosper has been highlighting ways in which everyone can play their role in protecting wildlife at the domestic level in the event of the passage of a hurricane or storm. These include endemic species such as the St. Lucian racer, the iguana, and our coveted national bird, the Amazona versicola. He explains safety is emphasized firstly for the preservation of human life, and so there are special guidelines one should follow. Well, that is very important because, as I said, um, the condition out there it, it is, would not be favorable for those species to survive. So they would definitely move to areas where they feel safe. For example, if you have a, a chick, young bird, you know, its parents may have not survived the, the, the natural disaster and they are on their own. They may seek refuge in somebody's home, in somebody's yard, on a tree where they feel safe. It is important to keep those birds safe because remember our law states that you're not supposed to have any wildlife species on the protected list in your possession in case an offense. But in this case, we would understand the safety that is required to ensure that we protect those animals from danger. And so, as I said, calling is important, but if you observe that the bird is in a safe place in your home, let's say in, in the back of your garage or in your garage somewhere, and you can feed, the first thing to do is observe. And if it makes sense to feed them, just to keep them safe until we get there. I think whatever can happen, but we try not to encourage persons to handle the animal simply because we may not be aware or they may not be aware exactly what the problem is. So we ask them to observe call as quickly as possible. With some small degree of leeway, there may be reason to offer temporary refuge and sustenance for displaced wildlife. Mr. Prosper further advises. What I would like to advise persons to do in the event they come across a bird, a boa constrictor, any of our wildlife species, to contact the forestry department as soon as possible and we will provide guidance to the person in terms of what to do. We would discourage people from handling those birds because you may see a bird with a broken wing and you may actually go and hold this bird, but you may be making matters worse. You may be causing more damage to the wing because you may not know how to handle it in this case. So if you contact the forest department, what we may do is to ask basic questions. Is the bird bird walking? Are you seeing signs of a broken wing? Are you seeing signs that the, 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 the bird was injured? We ask those questions and what we will do is to collect the animal or the bird in this case from the individual. Regardless of the situation, Mr. Prosper says there are forestry officers posted around the island and could be contacted for assistance at the following numbers and or through the fire service. For the Northern Range, one should call 468-5639. In Millet and on the West Coast, the number is 451-1691. In Denry, residents should call 453-3241.
in the Quillis Range in Vieux 4, 454-5589 and in Soufre, 457-1427. These emergency contact numbers can also be found on our Ministry of Agriculture Facebook page. From the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Amanda Fayclock reporting. Stay with NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson is here with the NTN Nobel of New York. Was that an earthquake? No. What do you do if there's an earthquake? Drop, cover, and hold on. What does that mean? You drop to the ground, take cover underneath a sturdy table or desk, and hold on until the shaking stops. Well, there's no table or desk. Stay away from the walls, windows, and doorways. Use your hands to cover your head and face and crouch in a corner of the building. But what if you're outside? Go to an open space away from buildings, trees, street lights, and utility wires. Drop to your knees, protect your head with your arms, and wait for the shaking to stop. Remain alert to your surroundings. Be prepared to change where you are if necessary to promote your safety. During an earthquake, anything that can move and fall, parts of a building including doors, walls and windows, furniture and appliances can be a hazard. Remember, protect yourself from anything that can move. Do not panic. As soon as you feel the ground shaking, drop, cover and hold on. This message brought to you by the Viewport South District Disaster Preparedness Committee and NEMO and funded by the USAID Office of Foreign Disaster Assistance. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Novel, a Creole. Mr. Madam, Department of Kinewis Consabilité pour Information Gouvernement Settlesi, ça c'est GIS, ça c'est Bipi Télévision NTN, qui a posé de nouvelles à Koyal. Jodhia, nouvelles à Koyal qui a venu à la monnaie spéciale, côté nous à un établissement financier, côté organisation qui est responsable pour faire des arts à Settlesi, côté tous les représentatifs qui est responsable, tout le département de gouvernement, aussi le Premier ministre là, ici, pour discuter de mauvais temps à la Dorian qui a affecté Settlesi. Et pour ça, là, nous avons commencé une nouvelle là, et puis une conversation, et puis mettre un bureau qui est responsable pour faire une nouvelle à ce temps. Côté M. Joyeux, il a causé pour nous à cette situation. Et que nous avons demandé pour rester avec nous, côté nous avons présenté principalement à ce nouvelle, à ce mauvais temps. Quand nous disons au commencement, le chef de département de météorologie, M. André Joyeux, a eu un petit peu de détails à ce mauvais temps, Dorian. Le cyclone Dorian a passé bon deux heures bon matin, mais avant ça, nous avons espéré à chaque vent et la pluie. Le cyclone a déposé bon 10 pouces la pluie à son nom. Et ça a fait place là. À chaque la pluie qui est tombée. À chaque gouvern aussi. Ok. Ce sont les précisions que nous avons faites pour cette question, pour le public là. Situation qu'on a, ça m'a dit pour faire que les gens ne pourront entrer, puisque le pays a été fermé pour 6 heures soir. Oui. La pluie a commencé à affecter nous plus bonne pour 6 heures, mais pour les gens qui travaillent, les gens qui ont supposé pour les gens qui ont été fermés pour 6 heures. Ok. L'autre bail encore, c'est. Nous ne pensons pas que nous avons un rapport avec nous. C'est nous qui avons un cycle de la vie qui est à présent. Nous avons un rapport avec nous. Oui. Nous avons un rapport avec nous. 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 La situation que le Premier ministre a regardé, c'est que nous avons un rapport avec nous. Nous avons un rapport avec nous. Nous avons un rapport avec nous. Oui, il doit être temps nous pour qu'on ait un système comme ça. Thomas passe qui va nous acheter glo et doit être mon mon. So nous avons des mons pour prendre précaution et si qu'il y a parfois assez, il y a ça. Achetant l'autre côté pour. Oui. Ok. Ministre de la responsabilité pour l'agriculture, Honorable Ezekiel Joseph. Tenions-moi ce conseil pour les cultivateurs. 
La situation nous est que si nous avons essayé de recouvrir de l'année passée, nous avons eu un tropical storm cook. Et puis pour nous, nous avons espéré un hurricane. Pour ça, un massif de femmes qui ont été battues. Parce que les femmes travaillent à Et puis pour ça, nous n'avons pas de pièce contre Et puis moi, dit ça. Nous avons eu trois casse-mains et puis nous avons eu un des affaires maladie et puis um, insectes, trois casse-mains, tu vois, et agricole, c'est climate change. Et puis nous, ni pour commencer à cacher, qui manière nous a développé agricole, nous, pour nous, ça, à l'aise, bah, quand les cipos, ça, aux femmes, ça, vivre pour weather, quand les situations, ça, les nous, les nous, nous venir. Donc nous, quand hope, bis à ce meeting aujourd'hui, nous, quand hope, that um, wise, nous, 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 nous avons hurricane watch, nous, quand hope, that rien Yes, move it some part really affecting no, you know, but see si affecting no, co prime minister, the I recall Kayan Kalisi Poa, it is Jukahen from, from prime minister, be from government secretary. Thank you, Mr. Madam Sasse, Kote, Mane situation of Asse Jordia, a Plumone Jordia, Prime Minister, Honor of Alan Chaste, the Acid Epitut, a just a government, except public, except privy, also, who decided my façon pour agir, et puis mauvais temps Dorian. Toute opération PIA debout depuis à 6 heures au soir. Et quand je dis, um, tout le monde peut prendre toutes sortes de qualités pour caution qui sont nécessaires pour préparer pour le mauvais salaire. Nous allons pour continuer la journée, on appelle le chef officier de l'EFORI cette ici pour prendre en considération pour protéger vivre les forêts après un désastre naturel et le mauvais temps. Selon le chef officier Alfred Prosper, le département de l'EFORI cette ici il est nécessaire pour connaître manière pour protéger ces vivre le forêt ça là après un désastre et pour savoir danger yo peut à contrer après un mauvais temps chef officier pour département ka informé et esprit public là à ce qui façon yo ça assister pour protéger ces animaux et gibier et aussi les a quand igona et jaco national pays avec les autres pour nous savent en saison non en saison cyclone ça là monsieur prosper ka si jwe ki après yon désastre Dile la peni jibye ki ped pawan yo ek yo ka gade pou kote pou sewe ek pek yo yo. Pou antwe an kay kon an garaj e ben kote ki pwe kay yo. Prospe ka fe o yon apel pou publik la proteje se zan nimo sa la ek jibye. La ki ka konse yo yo. Sa pe souple pou pa kite tatasyon pou yo. Kontrol yo pou malmene se te zan nimo sa la. Tou sa proteje yo yo ka mado pou fe sa pou... Juste les officiers de l'EFOE viennent garder pour eux. Ça a été trop primé parce que les officiers de l'EFOE ont été conseillés par les membres publics pour ressusciter les contrats pour essayer de faire des animaux pour les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de l'EFOE. Ils ont été conseillés par les officiers de et puis, par exemple, ni yon zèl kase, pa tchebe yi, parce que ou pas sa ki meye fason ou fè sa, ek de lè, ou pe fè pli domaj. Chef opisye le fou ya, note ki, ni la ni les opisye le fou ya, tout ou li wan pe ya, ki la, ou fè kontak epi yo. Pou fasad not, ou sa te tourne, 468-6639, milet 4-6 yon, yon 6-9 yon, denri 4-6-3, 3D, 4 yon, Kwelans, 1 vie 4, 6-4, 6-6, 8-9, ek soufouye, 4, 6-7, yon 4, D, 7. Ben, Mesye, Mesdames, sa se kote nou atouan bout nouvel la pou jodia, mwen ka wè mesyo otan pou gade, mwen ka bon invitasyon pou jene pi mwen konsidye, kon se fe la vi, nè ngay pou se tou lot nouvel ak peyol. Avan nou feme, mwen ka fe ou sav ki nou ka prepare pou siklon Dorian, ek ou nou pou pre tout pour qu'on soit nécessaire qu'on puisse nous la dire et pour assurer que tout caillou, tout la femme, les animaux, tout le bagage en ordre et qu'on reste loin et qu'on puisse nous faire qui est en ordre, aller rester la caille en notre monde. Et nous avons dit que tout le bagage est passé et que nous devons préserver le pays. Nous vous remercions autant et que je vous remercie pour vous présenter une autre nouvelle. Merci, Apil Primus. And to recap what's happening with us, St. Lucia is under a national shutdown that began at 6 p.m. as the island braces for the impact of the fourth storm of the 2019 Atlantic hurricane season. Tropical Storm Dorian is developing toward hurricane status. 
with winds predicted to reach 74 miles per hour, taking it to Category 1 status. Dorian is expected to make landfall here at about 2 a.m. Tuesday. That brings us to the end of NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am Janelle Norville. Stay safe. Until next time.